hi welcome to another video in this video we will discuss an important use case in power automate where we have a data source here our data source is dataverse and in our dataverse uh, we have a table whose name is doctor information doctor daily information here we are storing doctor names and in next column we are storing patient name and in third column we are storing patient count okay so the uh, information is like we can define a new doctor name here or an existing doctor name here with same name if uh, the doctor uh, let's say Srikant Kumar is the doctor and this doctor treated two patients means I have two records here with same doctor name but different patient name and each line the patient count is one okay so here we can have duplicate uh, doctor names but patient name be patient name may be different and patient count is always one okay the point here is if your data is stored in such a way then how you can uh, read all this data and send a consolidate table uh, to an administrator or to someone with properly formatted email for example if it is showing two records for a doctor that means it should display in the table one column Srikant Kumar and count is two. We can ignore patient name right now. So the requirement is uh, the email should contain only the doctor and how many patients uh, he has treated for that same day. Okay. So this is how you can achieve using array filters and array manipulation uh, and we will use JSON will use uh, filter um, array concept and will use loops in power automate okay so let us uh, understand how the uh, power automate is done i have created a recurring workflow or scheduling uh, scheduled power automate to run every uh, 7 uh, pm every day india time and the first step is when the power automate will run it will get all the doctor information daily information records from this table right so this table name is doctor daily info so here i am using a uh, list row action using data force connector and uh, given the table name and used a fetch xml to read all those doctor daily information records created today okay so it will only consider the records which are created today whenever the power automate will run if other day records are there then it will ignore once it is retrieved so it will retrieve all these information patient and doctor name and patient name and patient count next we have taken a array variable initialized as blank array with uh, blank square bracket means uh, it is an empty array okay and I have selected, I have given, taken a string variable whose name is doctor name. We'll discuss how these variables will be used later on. Next, we have taken another variable whose type is object. I want to create an array variable and each item of the array should contain a JSON item, JSON object. That's why I have initialized a JSON object variable with this structure curly braces start and curly braces end first property doctor name initialized as blank second property patient count initialized as zero so this is the initialization of the json object next we want to do a apply to each loop or loop this loop will help you to go through all the records available in this list row and process what it will process it will keep adding the items to array the array is declared here already right so you can add this apply to each loop and inside that select the list of items value object which will which the loop will go through then here the condition is if doctor name does not contain the record doctor name that means when the first iteration will come the doctor name variable which is the string variable is blank 
so first for when the power automatic will run first time it will check if the variable value is blank or not if it is blank and it is not equal to the first records name field value then it will create new record or it will add the item into the array right so this branch is for new doctor record and this branch is for existing doctor record okay because here in data first time when it will process for this record it is a new record but when it will process second record no check for second one for this record when it is entering it, it is first time it is new record but when it will process the second record it is the same doctor so it will go to the no branch okay and process uh, manipulate the array so if this is a new doctor record what it will do we are assigning the doctor name variable with the record doctor name current records doctor name because we need to assign the variable value so that in next iteration we can check here right otherwise if you do not assign here doctor name variable value remains blank always so for new doctor check the condition and it's because first time doctor name is blank it will come to the uh, yes condition because it is not matching name contains some value and doctor name does not contain any value so this condition is true so here the first step we are assigning the uh, name value to the doctor name variable next we are setting the value of the json object you know that we have defined here json object and initialize it as doctor name blank and patient count zero and this time we are setting the value of this variable as doctor name the variable value and patient count one because this is one patient record one doc, uh, patient record that is treated by the doctor that's why it is patient count one once the value is dynamically generated json value you can use append to array variable step and select the array and choose the previous object the previous object is json doctor patient count this is the variable that you need to append so this way if you have unique doctors here without duplicate doctors every time it will go to this branch and keep appending the item into the array object or array variable but if there are multiple doctors records are there then it will go to this branch so next iteration it will come here and it will check if the doctor name is equal to is does not equal to current records doctor name or not now let us understand first it will it will come to this record for processing okay now this record for this record it is a new record so it will create the new record and append to the array next it will come to the second record second record is a different doctor so again it will it is true it is not equal to the so previous doctor is uh, Sanjay and this doctor is Srikanth so does not meet so it is again a unique record so it will create but when the third iteration will come the third iteration name and the second iteration name is same so as because it is same it will come to this branch and in this branch what we are doing we are doing array manipulation what is the array manipulation we are filtering the array first step we are doing is setting the doctor name variable with the current records doctor name right this value we are setting to the variable first then we are filtering the array using filter array data operation action to filter the array to get only the items where doctor name is equal to variable name because already the main array contains all the items which are already created already doctor records which are already created now i just want to extract the or filter the array where the doctor is matching doctor so that this filter will create another filter which will contain only the items of matching doctor name 
like that i will create another filter array action step which will extract another array with a filter doctor name does not equal to doctor name okay this is the uh, property and this is the variable name so currently i have three array one is the main array which is doctor patient uh, which is the uh, doctor patient count array which is the main array this is another array which only contain the matching doctor name array information and this is third array which contains non matching doctors list or count it's because we have now three array our intention is to set this no matching doctor counts or doctor count records that means the array now the uh, actual array contains this three records main array contains this three records now i am extracting two filter array one filter to contain uh, to contain matching records matching record means only this record okay where it is matching we are processing third record but there is a matching record this so one filter array contains this record only and another uh, array which contains these two records this one record okay so this is non matching record and this is matching record and the main main array contains this two record only now we are processing this record right so what we will do once we have three array using filter array third step we are doing updating the non matching records or removing the matching records from original array so what we will do so this is done through set variable if you replace if you want to replace main array with a an item of the filter array then you can use this set variable array with not matching record so choose the main array and use the value from dynamic content which is from the body output of not matching doctors filter array this body is assigned here now at this moment what it will do the main array which was previously containing these two records now will contain only this record because we have overridden the actual original array with no matching filter array why we are doing this because we have to update this filter array item and once it is updated with new patient count we will append this updated value with updated patient count to the main array so go here and next step is to update or to define an item with updated patient count so as because the doctor is already there record is already there it is existing we have to increment the patient count so to increment patient count i have taken a compose action step and here i have written this expression this expression is using set property set property expression can be used to update an items property it is it can be a json also so our json is this one variable json doctor patient count this is a variable so i am updating this variable's property whose property name is patient count let me copy this and explain you here okay now we are set setting the property of json variable and updating the property patient count with this value this value this expression adds the existing patient count of the existing doctor which there is a match and adds one to the existing patient count right so we are converting the we are getting the first item from the filter array with matching doctor and converting the uh, patient count attribute or patient count property to integer then once it will get the item we are adding one so this 
will update the patient count with incremented value by one with the existing patient count for that doctor now this is an item that can be appended to the original array because the original array is now this one so we have to append this record with updated patient count right because we want to roll up all the patient counts for a specific doctor now it should add now the new item will contain Srikant Kumar but patient count is 2 because previously 1 now it is 1 so it will combine and create one more item in the array and append the new item output of the compose to the original array so that finally the final array will contain Sanjay 1 count and Srikant 2 count because the third third item is the duplicate of the same doctor existing doctor just increment the count Okay. and third is a unique one which has no matching record so it will create so there only one right and finally we create a html table from the uh, we have used create html action step from data operation and used the from as the array doctor patient count array columns to generate automatically and we are doing sending email and define the output of the create html step right so this is how you can filter array and uh, update array and update properties using set property right so let us run this and test this i have this much record so i am expecting in the email it should display sanjay 1 srikant 2 sudhir 1 right patient count so let me test this now it will it is running it is extracting the doctor info in, uh, entity and it will send an email so let me open the email let me go to that mailbox where i have mentioned the uh, inbox if you click on the email the first email you will see the information Shanjay doctor name patient count 1 Srikant doctor name patient count 2 Sudhir doctor name patient count 1 you see guys now it is rolling up the values a single doctor treated how many patients okay so this is how you can uh, manipulate array for this type of data source if it is stored somewhere in excel also whatever data source whether it is excel or sharepoint or dataverse you can manage using this logic i hope you understand how it works thank you everyone see you next time bye